Release locking pin and Lifebuoy falls, automatically deploying smoke marker and lights. Alternatively, manually throw Lifebuoy overboard, which pulls the unit from the mounting bracket, automatically deploying smoke marker and lights. Remove plastic cap, point away from body. Pull tab firmly away from canister. Ensure hand remains clear of hot end. Throw life smoke overboard immediately. Smoke will be emitted for three minutes following a two second delay. Floats in the water and produces dense orange smoke for a minimum of three minutes. A handheld marine distress signal for daytime use to indicate position and wind direction. Unscrew bottom brown end cap and point away from your body. To ignite, pull red ball down sharply. Hold at arm's length, downwind and outboard. Produces dense orange smoke for 60 seconds. This version also floats. Consisting of a red flare at one end and an orange smoke at the other. Select the end to be used. Smoke by day, flare day or night. The signal has colour-coded end caps which are also ribbed to aid identification at night. Remove end cap. Hold clear of face, point away from body and downwind. To activate, pull red ball out sharply to fire. Both ends can be fired independently and can be doused in water after firing, allowing the unused end to be stowed until required. Incorporates a 15,000 candela red flare at one end with a duration of 20 seconds for use at night and day and a dense orange smoke at the other with a duration of 18 seconds for daytime use. Pull out red end until telescopic tube clicks into place, indicating that it is fully extended and engaged. Unscrew red end cap Hold at arm's length and point away and downwind. Pull red ball out sharply to fire. End plug ejects after two seconds delay. For use day or night, Solas requires six to be fitted in ship's lifeboats and life rafts. Produces bright red flame for 60 seconds at 15,000 candela and cannot be extinguished even if fully immersed. These are red aerial flare distress signals, designed primarily for use on yachts, dinghies, personal watercraft, canoes and sailboards, but have many applications as a general purpose distress signal for aviation, hill walking, climbing, skiing and other outdoor pursuits. Open case. Remove penjector from pack. Place trigger in safety catch position. Load the flare cartridge by sliding into slot on penjector. To fire, hold the penjector firmly at arm's length, above and away from face and body. Pull back penjector trigger and release. Fire vertically and be prepared for slight recoil and loud pop. Kit contains nine cartridges, stored in the water-resistant case. Each cartridge projects a red flare to over 40 metres which burns for five seconds and can be visible for up to five miles by day and 10 miles at night, depending on weather conditions.